welcome back to another Christopher Show free video and today is the day. So plans have moved ahead a bit quicker than we thought. I went and viewed this six foot tank today. It is amazing. It's like six foot long, two foot deep and nearly three foot high. It's got the stand, absolutely mint stand. So I just need to paint that black so that obviously it matches the rest of my fish room. But my lift has turned around and says, yeah, let's pick it up tonight. So I've had to clear the space and now I've got to go and get the six foot. Yes, mate. So now we're a couple of hours later and I've got my new tank. Oh, I'm so chuffed. So I'm going to flip it around and show you properly. So I've got my new tank. The trim was missing on the two sides anyway. We had to pull the front one off so that we could get it onto the stand because it was too heavy. Box on this side, cabinet door, looking good. I might put some magnet clips on it just to hold it in a bit better, which I took off the five foot. Got another door here. So this is where I'll put the new FX6 that's going on it is hold and drilled and what have you for sump but it's all sealed i'm not going to bother up doing that i'm just going to slap an fx6 on it needs a bit of a clean because it's been stored for years but it's never been used 130 quid what a bargain however there was one bad thing about trying to get this tank in there was only two of us and we tried and it started to twist luckily we managed to stop the force of how fast it was about to fall. It didn't quite smash the 4B2B2, but it has managed to put a big freaking scratch in my tank. So I've now got to try and figure out if and how I can get that scratch out. My brand new tanks, and it's got a scratch in the middle already. But as I say, luckily it didn't whack through the glass, so that's what I'm thankful for and we've got it in okay a little scratch is minor but it's still going to annoy me because it's a brand new tank it's quite deep at the top a bit shallower at the bottom so I'll probably still have that if I can get this bit fainter then sweet but being as it's glass not acrylic it might make it a little bit harder so the only thing left to do obviously as you can see it's brown so I've just got to paint it black Finish off putting a trim around the top and both the sides and then that's it. Get the FX6 and we can get it up and running because the FX6 I'm getting is already cycled as well. I am wow chuffed. Black background as well so I've just got to get some substrate for it and all now. So now that I've got the 6 foot and it's in I am chuffed as hell. So the shopping list for it I've already got the paint I've got some today so I've just got to paint the stand. Got to do a trim for the top of the cabinet, minor. Polycarbonate sheeting to do the lid on the top, minor. But again, then we've also got to get the FX6. That's going to cost me another 150 quid, but it's still a hell of a lot cheaper than trying to sump it and get the piping, get the bulkheads, get wheels, get um, media, and God knows what else you'd need to get it all working, plus the return pumps and what have you. But I am absolutely buzzing. 130 quid, what a bargain. So thank you very much if you're watching this video to the gent and the lady that I got it from. Very, very much appreciated and it's gonna help this channel grow massively because this tank is gonna have some good stock in it. Haven't quite decided what yet because I've still gotta finish off the room before I can start looking at fish and start saving up for the fish. But for the fish that we have got, I'm going to be putting the Jags and the Oscar into the six foot straight away so that they have a lot more space. Eventually, once everything's done as well, I will be building hoods for all of the tanks. Because at the moment, you can see I've just got the polycarbonate sheets. I'm having to do it bit by bit. And of course, we've still got the false wall to build. So that is going to be stripped down. That's going to be stripped down because that's what was underneath the bulkhead before the five foot. That's just my crap measuring and building skills. So that will be scrapped down and recycled. Got to get some more wood and do that properly. 
These are the sheets that I got. I don't know if I mentioned them in a video already, but just thin plywood. So I've got them. I've got to chop them down, paint them black, and then that'll be my trim to go underneath here. It probably won't go the whole way. This tank I will be eventually getting rid of because even though I've only got that section running with my bristle nose in, this was going to be a sump of some sort for this side, but I think I'm just going to keep this tank as it is. I've got a 1200 IF filter in there. I've got one turtle and uh, one flower horn. So regular water changes, keep cleaning the filter. That should be more than enough. But I've also, even though it's only got two sections on at the moment, I've got another two sections I could add on to it for extra filtration if needed. And then I could just put it at the back so you don't see it. Then it will just blow this way for the flow and the circulation. Plus I've got the sponge filter in as well. So yeah, the fish room is about, say what, 90% complete. I am so chuffed, it has been a long road. We're about, what, three months into the year, and you know what I mean? I started this project with my video saying Fish Room Reboot. I think it was about January or just after Christmas. So, yep, yeah, as I say, it's the end of the third month. We're coming into the fourth month, and we have finally managed to get everything going. We've got pictures up, shelves up, tanks back in. Oh, it's so much progress I'm speechless but still we're not quite there yet we still got a little bit more till we hit the finish line so as per usual thank you all so very much very much for watching it is greatly appreciated make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already again like I say in every video like subscribe hit the bell and make sure if you want you can leave comments down below I'll reply to every single one of them Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.